Well, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about CASPA today. I want to keep this video brief and just do a quick little update based on yesterday's video, okay? I do expect CASPA to move down. We're at 13.2 cents. I think it's going to move down to about like 12 to 11 cents. But there is a possibility it could move even lower. Before we continue, I want to say I absolutely believe CASPA will see new all-time highs, okay? 100% I do. I also believe you're going to go lower than this low burst. So you'll go right below that low, and then as soon as you do, that's when you're on your way up to new all-time highs. I, that's kind of what I'm expecting right now, as kind of counterintuitive as that might seem. Um, if not, man, I mean, Casper could be in some real trouble, but I don't think the trouble starts yet. I think it seems like it is, but I don't think it's starting yet. Um, a quick little thing also before we continue, a couple people, I had a couple negative comments in yesterday's Casper video, and that's okay, but I want to set the record straight, right? For, for those of you, even though, even though you're you're just being trolls on the internet. I, I want to try to help you out here, okay? So that you're, you're thinking logically, okay? Because you might you might think you're thinking logically, but I want to help you out here. Yesterday, there was one guy that was saying, cash was not going to move down. You know why? Because the rest of crypto is going to move up. By the way, the rest of crypto moved down yesterday too. But but what, what I'm trying to say is that Caspa can do the opposite of what most crypto does. It doesn't need to follow. And that's something that a lot of you Caspa people were actually proud of back in the glory days, whenever it was branching out to new all-time highs, when Bitcoin was being boring, when a lot of cryptos were going down, Casper was moving up. Casper was moving down at times when, when other cryptos were moving up, right? I mean, I guess here it was moving down at the same time as, as a lot of cryptos. February, it started moving down. Most cryptos didn't really start moving down until March, so this thing did start moving down earlier. All I'm trying to say is Casper can do its own thing. So whoever you are, whether it's just the one person yesterday who made the comment or if, or if there's other people who are like, Bitcoin's going to move up, crypto's going to move up, so it's going to take Casper with it. That's normally the way you would think about crypto. That's that's an accurate way of thinking. But for Casper, no. Casper does, it's proven that it does its own thing. It doesn't need Bitcoin to move up for, for Casper to move up, and it doesn't need Bitcoin to move down for Casper to move down. It can do its own thing, okay? Um, it literally, I mean, find a chart that looks anything like this in crypto right now. That's the proof, right? Caspa has done its own thing. It's the only chart that looks like this. It's done its own thing. It's continued to do its own thing. Um, so if, if you're counting on Bitcoin to save the day, that's, that's not a good argument, okay? Just saying that. If we look at this low here, this relative low here to this relative high, we're at the 1272 now. We found support in the 1272 area, went up to the 886, rejected it, and now we're back down to the 1272. I do believe we're going to drop today, probably below this low here, below 13 cents. We'll be in the land of like just below 13 cents uh, area, making our way down to 12.6 cents maybe, probably going just below 12 cents here and finding support there. If we don't go and find support there, maybe we go to the 1886 or the 200 level. This is a small fib retracement uh, zone. So you could see deeper extensions. That's why I think anything between 12 cents and 11 cents, because that's like 10.8 cents, so just below 11 cents, I think that that's a fine area to kind of assume that we would go to. But if I'm wrong, we could go a little lower, potentially. If we take this low here to this high, kind of of this range here, not the fake out high, but the true low and like this high here, not the fake out high, then maybe you go as minimum of a low potential to like 11.38 cents and maybe a maximum low potential of 10 cents itself. So that range gets a little bit broadened from, from 11 cents to 12 cents to maybe more like 10 cents to 12 cents, you know, something like that. But personally, I do think you'll find support around 12 cents. You might move below 12 cents, but I think closer to 12 cents than 11 cents. But, but somewhere in that zone, definitely a little bit lower. I certainly would believe you go lower than this low. And I think at that point, I'm going to make a prediction even outside of the price. I'm going to make a prediction that once you go below this low, you'll get bigger YouTube accounts. I've got like almost 8,000 subscribers. At like, I'm at like 7,800 subscribers right now. You'll get like accounts that have 10 times or more the subscribers that I have who once, once it's below this low here, they're going to say Casp is dead. It found its all-time high. It's moving down. Casp is in trouble. They're going to, all the negative stuff's going to come out. And right as soon as that happens, 
that's when you find your low. That's when you start moving up. It's perfect. It happens every time, you know. Um, just like when everyone was bullish up here, that marathon was mining cast, but that was your high. Like, of course it was, right? It just it just makes sense um, that as soon as everyone flips bearish on this thing, and I say everyone, not you guys, not the people who hold cast, but you guys could see this thing drop 90% and you'd still be bullish on it. You guys are diehard faithfuls, and I, I, I applaud you for that, right? But don't let that get you in trouble, okay? The, the goal when you bought this thing, most of you, I, I'm assuming, probably bought in this range here. I've looked at the transactions on the blockchain, right? A lot of people who are holding Casper right now bought in this range. Um, <laughs> you know, I've looked at the on-chain data. The, the amount of people that have held throughout this whole time, it's a very small percentage of you. There, there might not even be people who have actually held Casper uh, since before 2023. They're, like, if there are, make make yourself known in the comments, man. Not not have you been involved, but have you held and not sold any Casper at all since 2023? I don't know if there's anyone who's actually... I was I was like scouring uh, transaction data, man, and I couldn't find I couldn't find anything from that. I couldn't find anything like really older than six months that had a significant wallet size. So all I'm trying to say by that is I'm sure a lot of you have bought here. Don't make the mistake, right? You bought so that you could sell at higher prices. When those higher prices come, don't forget to sell. Because again, I know you guys are diehard fans. You're going to be bullish even if it does this. You're going to be like it's still going to go back up, and of course it will. But just remember to sell when the time comes, okay? I, I got nothing else to say. We're going to go down. You're at 13.25 cents right now. I, I know I got off topic a little bit there, but 10 to 12 cents, more refined, 11 to 12 cents, and even more refined, probably just below 12 cents, but closer to 12 cents than 11 cents is my prediction. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you hate the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. I said bye. Go.